Welcome, my brave pioneers. I'm Ben Pearson, the Roadster Tracker. We are back with Satisfactory. Um, I, well, I mean, I can't help but compare this to Factorio. It, it's been compared to Factorio since it was first announced, right? And, you know, this one had the 1.0 release. That wasn't that long ago. And I love the fact that you have more maps. Uh, that was one of the interesting things with this game is the maps were always pre-generated so you know having a few more is quite a helpful thing I think um, we're doing pretty decently you can see we got a lot of manufacturing that is going on and yeah that's no problem um Today's goal is to build a space elevator. So what does a space elevator take? Well, it takes lots and lots of wire. We almost have the right amount of cement and stuff. Okay. We're doing fine. Okay. Everything looks good. So let's go ahead and do this. Factorio, I finally got it, made it to space with the DLC. And it is more wonderful than I had thought it would be. And I always get excited with space stuff, so you know. We'll take this. We'll take this. Is there any here? Yeah, we'll even take that. That is good enough. So we can put that in. Good. So we got enough wire. The cement, we're basically there. There's our shuttle back, which is good. I don't know if I'll continue this the whole way through. Like I did with the last the last one, I didn't even finish the game. I finished the key parts. I just wasn't gonna keep going for forever. Okay. But I at least want to get to the space elevator and We'll see how many people are liking and commenting on it, you know? It's always the best way. If you want me to keep doing some series, then comment on it to YouTube, like it, share it with your friends. The more views there are, especially, you know, with uh, Twitch, if I get subscribers, if I get a subscriber and then want me to play a game that I have, I'll probably do it. Unless I'm really, really not in the mood for some reason. I don't know what that would be. Um, okay, we just need some iron plates. You have no plates. You also have no plates. Uh, we can take the rods, I guess. These guys should be plates though, right? Oh, that's a rods. You're at least plates. Okay. You are also plates. So how are we doing? Okay, we can build ourselves a space elevator. Now, where should we build it? Um... I think I'm going to chop down some trees. I think this is the best base for it. There's too much stuff here. Way too much garbage here. Do I have enough space? Yeah, yeah, we got plenty of space. Good. Okay, let's see what we can do. Um, we got a few more trees to chop down here. Thank you. 
Space elevator achievement unlocked. Woohoo! Now we got a lot of wood. So let's go refill our plants. Make sure we can keep this going. So phase one, we need 50 of those parts. Okay. Can we get the storage container? Okay, we need some iron plates. That's fine. Project assembly initialized. Congratulations, Pioneer. The space elevator will now automatically connect with the project assembly orbital platform. Project assembly is divided into phases, each of which require the delivery of project parts, such as smart plating, via the space elevator. Subsequent phases unlock access to new tiers with more advanced technologies to construct, automate, explore and exploit. It is time to be honest. This project is part of the Save the Day program, the largest united undertaking in human history, destined to save us all. Earth is in peril and only Fixit pioneers offer hope for survival. Fixit is counting on you. Humanity is counting on you. Do not let Fixit down. Humanity is counting on us, huh? Wow. That's pretty big. Um, <clears throat> is there like a... Oh, yes. Okay, so we're looking for... The smart plating... So smart plating requires, oof, this is going to be a lot of iron. Okay. I already tell this is going to be fun. But we'll be able to do some good stuff after this. So what's the plan? Hmm. Well, first of all, Let's improve this setup. I want to be able to just dump the wood here and have it automatically do everything. Okay, so we need to extend this out. Every time. Well, I'm just going to do three tiles because that's really all we need okay so this is the wood so we're gonna put wood in here I can lock this in now. There might be a way to do it, but I don't know how to do it. And this one is not going to matter as much, but we'll put the leaves in. Okay. So, where's there more iron? Tap, tap. There's more iron over this way. So we're going to tap this iron supply. Perfect. This iron is going to become the basis for our smart plating. Okay, so let's start with the miner.
Minor Mark 1s require a portable miner. I did not realize that. So that's where all my portable miners have been going to. Huh. Alright, well, that's good to know that I'm not going crazy. So we could build an equipment shop and build one, but we'll just go over here. I think I could even make these manually. I'm gonna, well, I don't want a second one. Let's stop with the one. Um, how are we doing on things like the plating? Got a lot of micella. Yeah. Let's go pick up some plates. And then I want some broders too. Oh, I think I have rotors. I'm pretty sure I have rotors. Yeah, we have enough rotors. Okay, this'll do. Yeah, this is a good area for the space elevator. It's got space so we can build the train station. Because one of the more important train stations is the one right next to the elevator. Just clear this out a bit. Okay. Yep, that's what I thought. It's kind of fun to build vertical too with this game, but meh. And then whatever wood that we have. Ooh, we're getting more wood. All right. So the mine was down in this direction. So here we go. Missing wire. Well, fine. We'll go pick some up. Come back a third time. Wish we could just get robotic shipments of this, but alas, we cannot. It is nice though, you don't have to have the buildings, you just have to have the raw material. Which is usually quite a bit uh, easier in the sense that, you know, some will go a long ways. The You only need a few different types of building material. this up. Now I put it at kind of a weird angle on purpose. It may be a bad idea, but it was a purposeful idea. I'm gonna basically have to redo the structure that we just did. We got a... Is that a bacon tree? We've already had one of those. The fact that we have water is so crazy. I recall last time water was a major struggle. Okay, toggle build mode. Oh yeah, we're gonna need a lot of concrete. <clears throat> Let's go pick up some concrete because we will need winchos. We copper. Concrete. Been playing with Duolingo and learning languages. 
So today, Portuguese is a language I know fairly well and I kind of wanted to improve my grasp of it. But I kind of hit a point where I was like, you know what, let's try something that would be useful, but I don't actually know the language. I don't know Portuguese as well as I thought I did. I knew it pretty well 20 years ago, but uh zoom tempinho. Que não fale português muito. It's been a little while. Um, but I thought about it for a little while and decided to start working in Spanish, which will be helpful because of a lot of reasons. But it just, there's more of an opportunity to speak Spanish for sure. I gotta decide if I need to split this and do a new... You know... Yes. Concrete. Make sure there's a new pole and you can take whatever limestone I have. This should improve our concrete. I may put it in a storage chest, but I don't really want to, and it's probably not needed. We can take 500 at a time, which is often plenty, and now we can do a thousand at a time if there's enough time to build up. So we should be building up uh, up to twice as fast, and our storage has doubled. So I'll take it. Good. Now we can do this properly. So I did something different last time and I'm going to try to remember what I did. We've learned a few things though in this process. So, for starters, let's see, six. Okay, so that's too close. Let's do it here. Get our smelters, which are eight. So I'm going to go ahead and back this up. Okay. 
Let's see, we need another splitter. And then let's get another smelter. So that will be uh, eight. And another one right here. Okay, these guys should all... Is there no power? Oh. Okay, so we got all these guys going. Good. Now... We should be able to do this right. So let's see. We need... Let's put the assembly machine. I'm going to start... Here. So you're going to make... Let's start with rods. 15 per minute. This can do 30 per minute. So... One of those will feed two rod making machines, okay. That's machine one down. Um, Got to remember, ultimately, we're trying for the plates, so. And we're out of plates it looks like okay well let's start making plates here yeah we have no plates whatsoever but we can Hang on. We'll put these in manually. I guess that'll help to make some plates, but we're gonna need more than that. Also, I have some iron that I just want to get out of my inventory. Is this an impure? Oh, that's pure, okay. Just clean it up. Okay, let's go get some more concrete and iron. Because you can never have enough of those stuff. Guys, also iron. Hmm. So I don't know fully what I know. We need lots of rods. <clears throat> and uh, some plates. But we're gonna try to do this in the maximum... We're gonna try to do a lot better space efficiency than we did with the last one, because that was just a complete and utter mess.
We are actually tapping this whole thing. This is just normal. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> well, it's fine for now. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and pick up some more of the good plates. Reinforced plate. That will be something that we will need a lot of. We may even start to do some belts and stuff like that within. Does do a much faster design. Ooh, we got more bacon. Probably should build a ramp up here. Eventually we will, but I don't want to do that yet because I don't know where's the best spot gonna end up being all right so let's see part uh reinforced plate is screws and it's six iron plates to one screw okay let's just put in an assembler Missing cable. Well, darn. We were just down. Luckily, cable's pretty close. Cable's just down here. I'll go ahead and pick up the, uh, the wire, too, because I suspect we will need it. So hopefully we have enough concrete that's actually really coming. I mean, having three dedicated mines is kind of nice to start with. We'll probably will need more power after this too. So this is not going to stay. This is just a build. Well, hang on. Maybe it could stay. So if this stays, it's going to be something like this. But let's do reinforced plate. So 66 plate, 12 screws per so 60 screws per minute, which means we need to use the faster belt. I think no, 60 screws is here. So we're getting 15 rods per minute. If we do an assembler. Actually, let's go even closer. So you're going to do screws. So you'll do 40. So we actually will need both ish but how many yeah we're actually gonna have spare capacity so that's good to know that we'll have some spare capacity so you're gonna get screwed as well you got no power And then you guys get merged.
and then we can build our assembler here. Production assembler. Let's build it. I don't know. I think we need to do it just a little bit further down so we have enough room. Because we gotta sneak a belt around, remember? Before we go too far, can we sneak this belt? Nope. Uh, it says it'll look stupid, but we'll do that. Looking stupid is perfectly acceptable because I hate wiring. So you're gonna do reinforced iron plates. Good. Forgot to hook that up, but that's okay. So now... The next goal is to do the rotors. So what does a rotor need? So the rotor needs iron rods and screws. 100 screws per minute, okay. That's a lot. So basically these four are going to go into smelting or into um, two separate of these. One, two, three, I'm going to go ahead and build the fourth one here. Okay. That looks good. And then the last one, let's go ahead and hook you up. Oops, six. Um, I'm gonna do something like this. Okay, so now we just need to these are rods. All of them are rods. There we go. Everything is now hooked up. Good. So, where to build the screws? Screws are tricky. Miss my alternative recipes. Okay, let's see. We need an assembler here. You're gonna get screwed. Now, do I care? This is 10 rods per minute. This is 15. Yeah, we'll have spare capacity and that's okay. So three of these, hang on. Two, ooh, ooh. 
so this is gonna actually involve some work so we need to do a merge first so five these two rod makers but ah let's try this again uh five And can we put... Nope, we need to kill this. That's fine. You're going to make uh, rotors. Get rid of it, everything we've got. We're missing rods. That's fine. We got plenty of rods here. Yes, we'll put you here. Okay, so we're making the rotors now screws Actually hang on We don't need this guy We'll leave it there though What we do need to do is we need to merge We can't do this So hang on, we're going to actually do this like this. Fine, we'll put you one further forward. Looks slightly dumb, but slightly dumb is okay. And then you're gonna do iron rods and no power, so we'll hook you up to that. So then we merge these guys together. to split this let's build the assembly of machines first though so I want one there one here and obviously we need a little this okay so let's get the splitter now Then we need to use the better conveyor. Well, fudge. Um, fine. We'll just move you. Looks slightly stupid, but that's okay. Fine. 
fine. That'll do. So these guys are gonna get screwed. It's so one, two, and three. Okay, and then we're going to merge them up. Two and three. And then we're going to use the better belt to go into there. And that should start making these rotors on a regular basis. Excellent. Now. Let's just do this. Let's do... I don't know at all about the ratios and such. But let's just see... Um, smart plating. Two per minute, two per minute. So this produces four per minute. You produce five per minute, so we can actually do two of these machines. And I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so how do we do this? I remember I've had some clever tricks. I think we'll stack these on top of each other. That should almost do. We still have to do this. Get the power to those. Okay. Then all we need to do is a merge. <clears throat> we should now be making smart plating at a pretty decent clip. So we'll be making four per minute, so we'll be done fairly short order. Uh, what should we do while we're waiting for this to finish? That's a great question. Um, how about the sink? So we can build the awesome sink. So I'm just going to build there. We'll route the uh, special plating into here once that's done. And then we've got the awesome shop. We may as well... Missing screws. Okay. Screws are pretty easy to come by. And then I guess we could do some exploring. One plate delivered. Woohoo! So, what should we even do? Hmm. Power situation might be a little bit tenuous. Let's um, go ahead and build another bio, couple of bio mines. We'll be able to get coal soon, but I don't know that I'm going to do that tonight. 
Do we have any empties? No. All right. So this is going to be fun. Missing concrete. All right. Well, let's go get some concrete. Tell you what, I'm kind of feeling this episode's done, so I'm going to grab the concrete. I'm going to come back and then we'll finish the first delivery for this and start the new tier of science and all of the stuff that that entails next time. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Let me know whatever questions or comments you guys have. I appreciate everything you do. Until next time, keep on tracking. Take care. We will see you then. Bye-bye.